Hi, welcome to Don't Pull the Chicken Switch 1.5 Minute Nugget. I'm your host, Kit Alois, checking in this morning very, very early from Mobile, Alabama. And it is inseparable, if that's the right word, humid. And even though it's the crack of dawn early, it is so humid I can hardly put my head around it. Today's 1.5 Minute Nugget is called Fear and Anxiety Can Be a Good Thing. Let me explain. I took off, had to leave, like it's really early, like hours before it's going to get light, but it was the only way I could get my run in before my uh, work day today. So I took off on a trail here in Mobile off the island and the trail was densely forested. Uh, when you're driving through a big chunk of this part of the world during the day, you can look out and see the forest on your left or your right, and you literally cannot see more than a foot or two into the forest because there's so much humidity and so much rain here that it just grows crazy. Well, I'm running along this trail, and it takes just a moment for my fear and anxiety to set in. Is a big monster going to jump out of the forest? Is a crocodile or a elephant or a giraffe or whatever kind of reptiles or crazy animals that inhibit this part of the world, are they going to jump out and attack me on this trail which has no place to hide because of vegetation on either side? And so my anxiety and my fear was heightened Im immediately. And if you can believe it, <clears throat> so I had to cover 15 miles. I also covered 15 miles just two days ago on my home state in, in uh, Utah. And this is inconceivable to me. I literally was able to run almost a two-minute faster mile each mile for the whole 15. Two minutes. There was nothing different. Now, you could argue that other factors, maybe that it's, it's a different time of the day or such, those could be, but I'm choosing to to pitch you on the fact that fear and anxiety in terms of going after something that's important to you can actually help reduce pulling the chicken switch because all of a sudden my mile time looks very attractive versus just two days ago when I actually had what I would consider better favorable known conditions I wasn't able to go as far. So my challenge to you is to consider, just consider that on the far side of complexity we can use fear and anxiety to actually drive us to better performance just because we're thinking about it differently. All right, I hope you have a great day, and we will see you next time. I'm back to the hot, sweaty run. See ya.